Hello students, I am Soumya Sahu, lecturer in Civil Engineering at SKDAV Common Polytechnic Raudgela and this video lecture is prepared for the 5th semester Diploma Civil Engineering students. In the previous lecture videos, we have already discussed about the detailed estimate of RCC slab culvert and Hume pipe culvert. In today's lecture video, we shall discuss about the detailed estimate of drainage siphon. Due to relative levels, sometime it is required to lower the bed of the irrigation channel or the drainage channel at their crossing. When the bed of the irrigation channel is depressed and taken under a nala, then it is known as irrigation siphon. When the bed of the nala is depressed and taken under the irrigation channel, it is known as drainage siphon. The siphon crossing may be of rectangular closed machinery channel or circular brickwork of RCC or a hume pipe of the required diameter and number. The approach and the exit may be through masonry drop pit or of the masonry slope channel. The downstream end is kept lower than the upstream end by at least 15 cm for ease of flow. So, we shall discuss the detailed estimate of a small drainage siphon in this lecture video. Before going into the detailed estimate part of drainage siphon, first let us understand the different parts of a drainage siphon through the plan which has been given to us. So, students, see, this is the nala or the drain, and uh, it is taken under an irrigation channel so this is the irrigation channel and the portion which is shown with slanted lines this portion and this portion these two represent the wing walls and uh, if you see the plan over here you can see this is the wing wall this is the drop pit here in this figure you can see the cross section of the drop pit and nala and here you can see the cross section Sewing the duct and the wing wall. The methodology of preparation of a drainage siphon follows a certain sequence, and that sequence is earthwork in excavation and foundation, then next cement concrete work in 1 is to 4 is to 8 with the brick ballast is to be done, and next first class brick work is done in 1 is to 4 cement mortar, then RCC slab of siphon duct, uh, including the steel reinforcement uh, complete work, is done. The next cement pointing work, which is to be done in 10 cm thick brick floor. And then next, uh, the cement pointing work, which is done in other parts. And lastly, the 10 cm dry brick pitching which is to be provided. So this is the construction methodology or the methodology of preparation of a drainage siphon and uh, accordingly we are going to estimate the quantity. So with this background knowledge let us quickly start the estimation part. Excavation work is to be carried out for the siphon duct, drop pit and lastly for the wing walls. So if you see the plan so there is only one number of siphon duct which is to be provided and so its length would be from this point to this point okay so if you see from this portion to this portion the length is given here as 920 centimeter and on both side there is an offset of 15 centimeter so the total length of the siphon duct would be 920 plus 15 plus 15 which is equals to 950 centimeter or 9.5 meter and its breadth will be 2.4 meter here if you see the cross section of uh, duct and wing wall you will see that the breadth of the duct is 2.4 meter and uh, its height is from this point up to this bottom level so 
from this point to the 10 centimeter brick work which is done here the height is already given as 120 centimeter and 10 centimeter thick brick work is given and after that the cement concrete work is done for a depth of 30 centimeter so the total height of the duct for which excavation work is done would be 120 plus 10 plus 30 which is equals to 160 centimeter or 1.6 meter by putting the number 1 length as 9.5 meter breadth as 2.4 meter and the depth of excavation as 1.6 meter we can calculate the quantity as 36.48 cubic meter then next the excavation work is done for the drop pit the number of drop pits are 2 and the length is clearly mentioned in the plan as 2.1 meter and its breadth is 2.7 meter for excavation purpose and its height of excavation would be same as the height of excavation for siphon duct which is to be carried out from this portion this is the slab rcc slab provided so from the rcc slab up to the bottom of the cement concrete work so from the rcc slab up to the 10 centimeter brick work the height is given as 120 centimeter and then next the 10 centimeter brickwork is done and after that 30 centimeter of cement concrete work is done so the total height of excavation would be 120 plus 10 plus 30 which is equal to 1.6 meter so we can calculate the quantity by multiplying the number with the length breadth and height of drop bead for which excavation work is done so 2 multiplied with 2.1 multiplied with 2.7 multiplied with 1.6 which is equals to 18.14 cubic meter. Then next, excavation work is done for wing wall. So there are total four number of wing walls, one, two, three, and four. The length of the wing wall can be found out from the cross section of the wing wall. Here you can see the total length from this portion to this portion is 490 centimeter. So if we deduct 490, minus 240 centimeter which is nothing but the length of opening of the nala so you would get 250 centimeter and if you divide 250 centimeter by 2 so you will get the length of the wing wall on either side so 250 divided by 2 which is equals to 125 centimeter and its breadth is 1.1 meter and its depth of excavation will be same as the depth of excavation of siphon duct and drop bead which is 1.6 meter that means the depth of excavation would be from the RCC slab up to the bottom of the cement concrete work so if we put the values the total quantity for earthwork in excavation for wing walls would be 4 into 1.25 into 1.1 into 1.6 which is equals to 8.80 cubic meter and the total quantity would be 36.48 plus 18.14 plus 8.8 .8 cubic meter which is equals to 63.42 cubic meter then after earthwork in excavation the next work which is to be done is the cement concrete work so this work is done in the siphon duct drop pit as well as in the wing walls so here, here the number length and breadth would be same as the earthwork in excavation the only difference will be in the height so the cement concrete work if you see the sectional elevation clearly the cement concrete work is done for a height of 30 centimeter so here you have to just alter the values of height in cement concrete work. Previously 
it was 1.6 meter because it was the excavation work but cement concrete work is done in 30 centimeter of height so other things will remain same but uh, only the height will change and we have to calculate the respective quantities so for side conduct it is 1 into 9.5 into 2.4 into 0.3 which is equal to 6.84 cubic meter for drop pit it is 2 into 2.1 into 2.7 into 0.3 which is equal to 3.4 cubic meter for wing walls it is 4 into 1.25 into 1.1 into 0.3 which is equal to 1.65 cubic meter and the total quantity is 11.89 cubic meter first class brickwork is to be done and it is done in the siphon duct side wall in the drop pit wall in the wing wall which is having first step breadth of 70 centimeter then over it the breadth of the wing wall is 60 centimeter above which uh, the breadth of the wing wall is 50 centimeter above which the breadth of the wing wall reduces to 40 centimeter above which the breadth of the wing wall is 30 centimeter for all these portions the first class brickwork is to be carried out for the siphon duct side wall the brickwork is to be done on the both the sides this portion and this portion so the breadth is 30 centimeter or 0.3 meter for which first class brickwork is done the length will be from this point to this point which is 9.2 meter and the height would be from the slab up to the 10 centimeter brick flooring so which is 120 plus 10 which is equal to 130 centimeter or 1.3 meter so the quantity can be calculated by multiplying 2 with 9.2 and 0.3 and 1.3 which is equals to 7.18 cubic meter the next the brickwork is done for the drop pit walls The length of the drop pit for which the first class brickwork is to be done is from this portion to this portion which is 2.1 meter. Its height will be 120 plus 10 centimeter which is equals to 130 centimeter and its breadth will be 30 centimeter or 0.3 meter. And what is the uh, number Pro, for one side it is two in number the length will be provided on this side and this side so for two sides it is two into two so the quantity is calculated as two into two into 2.1 meter length into 0.3 meter breadth and 1.3 meter height which is equal to 3.28 cubic meter in this portion the brickwork is also done so the length is 1.8 meter whereas the breadth and height will be same as the previous and the number will be 2 because on one side it is a 1.8 meter length and here also the length will be 1.8 meter so the quantity is calculated as 2 into 1.8 into 0.3 into 1.3 is equal to 1.4 cubic meter. Then brickwork is done in the wing wall portion. So there are total 4 number of wing walls. And for the 70 centimeter breadth of wing wall, its length will be 125 centimeter or 1.25 meter. And its height is 0.6 meter and for 60 centimeter breadth of wing wall the length would be 1.25 meter and its height will be from this portion to this portion so from here to here the height is given as 80 centimeter and it is 20 centimeter in height so if we did it 20 centimeter from 80 centimeter so from this point to this point the height would be 60 centimeter so now we can calculate the quantity for, for first step 70 centimeter wall number is 4 length is 1.25 meter breadth is 0.7 meter height is 0.6 meter quantity is 2.45 cubic meter and for second step 60 centimeter wall 
which is up to the RCC's lab. The number is 4. The length is 1.25 meter, width is 0.6 meter, and the height is 0.6 meter. And the quantity is 1.8 cubic meter. For the wing well, which is having a breadth of 60 centimeter above the RCC slab, the length is 4.6 meter from this portion to this portion, and here the number of wing well would be 2. Ah, because this wing well would be taken from here this portion so there will be two number of wing wells one is this side and another one is behind it so you have to imagine the cross section of the duct and the breadth would be 60 centimeter and the height would be 20 centimeter And the quantity is calculated as 2 into 4.6 into 0.6 into 0 0.2 which is equals to 1.1 cubic meter for third for third step wing wall of 50 centimeter breadth the number would be 2 and the length will be 4.6 meter from this portion to this portion the height will be 100 centimeter or 1 meter and the breadth is 2 centimeter and the quantity is calculated as 4.6 cubic meter for the fourth step of wing well which is having a breadth of 40 centimeter similar uh, case is here also the length will be 4.6 meter only and the height will be 80 centimeter or uh, 0.8 meter and the breadth is 40 centimeter so the quantity is calculated as 2.94 cubic meter then for the fifth step of wing wall which is having a breadth of 30 centimeter the number would be 2 and uh, the length will be 4.6 from this portion to this portion and uh, this from this portion to this portion and this height will be 30 centimeter or 0.3 meter and the breadth is 0.3 meter so the quantity is calculated as 0.83 cubic meter for coping which is provided over the parapet the number of coping is 2 and uh, the length of the coping would be see this portion to this portion the length is 4.6 meter and for coping some projection is provided this side this is uh, 5 centimeter and this side this is 5 centimeter so the total length of the coping will be 4.7 meter as you see the longitudinal section uh, you will be more clear the projection is 5 cm over here because here the coping is provided with a breadth of 35 cm and below which the parapet breadth is 30 cm so the length of the coping will be 4.7 meter the breadth is 0.35 meter or 35 cm and its height is 10 cm and the quantity is calculated as 0.33 cubic meter and the total quantity involved in first class brickwork is 25.91 cubic meter. Then next, RCC slab of siphon duct including steel reinforcement complete work is to be done. So there is only one number of RCC slab is provided which is having a length of 9.2 meter from this point up to this point and its width is 240 minus offset of 15 centimeter on either side which is equals to 240 minus 15 minus 15 equals to 210 centimeter and its height is 15 centimeter so the quantity is calculated as 1 into 9.2 into 2.1 into 0 0.15 which is equals to 2.90 cubic meter 
Cement pointing work is done for the brick flooring. It is done for two items floor of siphon duct and floor of drop pit. So there is one number of floor of siphon duct and the length is 9.2 meter and its uh, breadth will be 150 meter. And for the floor of drop pit, the number would be 2 and the length and the breadth would be 1.8 and 1.8 and the respective quantities are calculated and the total quantity involved in cement pointing work for brick floor is calculated as 20.28 square meter the next cement pointing work is done for siphon duct interface so the length would be 9.2 meter and its height is 100 centimeter or 1 meter and it is done on two interfaces so the number would be 2 the quantity is calculated as 18.4 square meter then drop with three vertical faces so there are total two number of drop bits and we have to calculate the cement pointing work for its three vertical portions this is first vertical face second vertical face and third vertical face so its uh, length is 1.8 meter whereas the height is 1.2 meter if you see the cross section of drop bit here so the quantity is calculated as 2 into 3 into 1.8 into 1.2 which is equal to 12.96 square meter then cement pointing work is done for drop bit 3 top faces so here the number would be 2 1 and 2 and the length will be taken as the length of entire perimeter here so 180 this side 180 and this length will be 270 minus 15 minus 15 which is equals to 240 centimeter or 2.4 meter and its height will be 30 centimeter or 0.3 meter so the quantity is calculated as 3.42 square meter then next the pointing work is done for the parapet wall inner side so there are two number of parapets here and here the height of the parapet is calculated as 20 plus 10 plus 30 plus 10 plus 35 plus 10 plus 5 plus 110 which is equal to 230 centimeter and the length of the parapet from the inner side is 4.6 meter the height is calculated from here 20 plus 30 plus 10 plus 35 plus 10 plus 5 for the projection and this entire height which is 110 centimeter so the total height of the parapet wall inner face top and outer face up to ground level would be 2.3 meter and the length of the parapet is from this point to this point it is 4.6 meter so the quantity is calculated as 2 into 4.6 into 2.3 equals to 21.16 square meter next the cement pointing work is done for the outer face of the wing wall above slab number will be 2 because it is taken above the slab and uh, the length is 120 plus 15 plus 15 of offset and plus 30 so 120 plus 15 plus 15 plus 30 which is equals to 180 meter or 1.8 meter and the height is from this point to this point so this is 100 plus 20 which is equals to 1.2 meter so the quantity is calculated as 2 into 1.8 into 1.2 equals to 4.32 square meter then for the triangular portion of outer face of wing wall so there are total 
four number of triangular portions. The area is calculated by taking the slope as a one is to one, so half into point eight into point eight into four number of triangular portions. So the quantity is calculated as one point two eight square meter, and the total quantity involved in cement pointing work is sixty one point five four square meter. Then lastly, ten centimeter dry brick pitching with straight over burnt brick work is to be done. It is done for the bed of the nala. So there are two beds whose length is three hundred centimeter or three meter, and its breadth is one point eight meter. The quantity is calculated as ten point eight square meter. The side slopes of the nala, which is of four in number. And the length is three meter. The sloping breadth is calculated as square root of point eight square plus point eight square, which is equal to one point one three meter. And the quantity is calculated as thirteen point five six square meter. And the total quantity becomes twenty four point three six square meter. With this, we have completed the total estimate of drainage siphon. So if you have got any doubts you can ask me. Thank you students.